I am Dr. Professor Vivek Gupta in Apollo Hospital, New Delhi, and today, to, today is 20th of May, uh, 2019, uh, which is Monday evening. This is about 6 p.m. We have just finished a case, a uh, triple vessel disease requiring five stents. Uh, the clinical history was like this, but before that, I would like to introduce my very senior, important chief technician, Mr. Aftar, who has been working with us since 1998 when I joined this hospital, and I think he's before there was much before that. So we are very much dependent upon our technician team because. When we do a complex case, the technician team is very, very important and Mr. Raftar justifies all this. Mr. Mehta Bitti, who is our nursing staff and Dr. Junaid who is doing our recording. This patient had, is a 73-year-old male who had an angina on exertion for last uh, uh, six months and recent unstable angina. So when we took, uh, you can see both the shots, when we did an angiography, we found a tight stenosis in circumflex and if you see the AP cranial view, uh, tight stenosis beyond the diagonal one, which is requiring uh, if you plan to do a stent, then you require at least two stents because one long stent will not be enough. Uh, distal LED seems to be okay and the tight stenosis uh, starting from the diagonal one uh, going down with a uh, in between the two, th two, three lesions which requiring two stents. The RCA, we did the RCA and the RCA was also having uh, blockages. You can see the mid LED, mid RCA is about 95% and distal RCA about 70% going to PDA. Come back to me. So this is a, actually a clear-cut triple vessel disease, but the triple vessel disease with drug looking stents can always be a, a good way to attempt. We always <coughs> give option of bypass surgery, uh, but considering that this patient uh, was able to afford, and secondly, the preference of the patient was to do angioplasty. Uh, we thought we'll do angioplasty, and we initially planned that we'll put uh, uh, five stents: uh, one in RCA mid, second in distal RCA circumflex, and two in LED. Uh, this is a very important point which I want to discuss. So we, such cases can be, actually this patient is a recent unstable angina. So we have to find what is the culprit lesion. And from my point, the culprit lesion is actually the RCA, mid RCA, and we thought that we should do RCA first. In general, people say LED should be done first, but LED is a diffuse disease with many blockages, and RCA you can see is 95, 99% block, and this is a culprit lesion. So we have staged this procedure, we have done RCA and circumflex, and leaving LED for the next sitting. So this, it was not difficult, the only thing was to decide and you always do, when you have two lesions, you always put a wire, do the balloon, next view, balloon inflation of the distal segment, distal vessel as well as the proximal. This is very important that either, either you, uh, balloon can be done either proximal first or distal first, doesn't make a difference. We made a distal first and the proximal LED, then you have to put a stent always distally. This is very important point. Suppose you put a stent in the prox mid segment first, then putting a second stent in the distal segment can be a little challenge. So we put a deployed stent 2.25 into, into, uh, into 15 uh, millimeter Abbott Zions stent and the result you can see is perfect. Then quickly going into the LED RCA lesion and then we put a stent in the RCA proximal which is 2.75 or 3? Yeah, 3. 3 millimeter stent uh, 2.75 or 3? 3, 3 millimeter into 15 millimeter and quickly stenting. The whole procedure of the RCA took only uh, 25 minutes to put two stents or 20 minutes to put stent starting from the puncture and then we jumped into the circumflex uh, next view this is a very good result as you can see uh, two stent one is mid rca and another is distal rca going to pda it's almost like a, a very almost like original vessel uh, then we go went into do a circumflex artery again a point of view is this whenever you have to plan a circumflex always use a voda catheter this is my viewpoint and always sometimes it takes a little long time as we took uh, to hook the, 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 the coronary artery but then of course uh, after hooking and getting a good uh, uh, the placement uh, you can always start with the balloon inflation and then putting a stand it was not difficult so uh, we have used a two millimeter balloon for uh, pre dilatation a good pre dilatation is very very important and then of course we have done a stand to 2.5 into 15 millimeter about science come back to me and show the final result show the final result final result the final result in the double zoom is perfect and as you can see next view next i think you have one more yeah so this is an absolutely normal vessel come back to me so only message in these cases that triple vessel disease angioplasty can be done with a triple vessel disease can be done with an angioplasty i see your viewpoint whether you do a staging i could have done an led also at this point of time but considering that five stents in one stage and the patient also wanted to stage it and this was a thing which helped me to take a decision that we took a, we have done as RCA circum, circumflex at the first stage and second stage I think that I will plan it after one month. 
because the culprit vessel which was causing unstable angina is most probably RCA, not the LAD, because LAD is already diffuse disease. So uh, we always discuss with the Mr. T uh, technician, Mr. Aftar was very helpful in telling us uh, what kind of state and uh, whether to do. I was thinking of leaving the circumflex, but he said do the maximum, maximum possible at this point. So sir, the circumflex is a reasonably good size branch, as you can see, just show. The circumflex OM, which is a good size branch, it, will, it can also lead to angina, but LAD will, will do at the later stage. So two final messages. Triple vessel, two final messages. Triple vessel angioplasty stenting is a normal thing. Now with the drug eluting stents, the restenosis rate is not much. I always use terofavan, which is an abscisivab, GP2B3 receptor antagonist in such cases to prevent subacute thrombosis, which will, if you have put a stent very well, if you deploy a stent with a good atmospheric pressure, if you always see the stent boost, show the last, top, top one, the stent boost, top one, top one, top, top, yeah. The stent boost is very important to see whether it is deployed well or not. So if we do use a stent boost, so the rate of the subacute thrombosis has gone very less. In fact, uh, uh, anticoagulation, proper anticoagulation, uh, GP2B receptor antagonist, uh, antiplatelet active, all these things are very important to prevent any such complication. Touchwood will not have it. And so I, I finalize that triple vessel angioplasty can be staged, and staging is not a problem. Do the culprit vessel, which is causing angina. Finish off the procedure as quickly as possible. We did uh, 22, used 20 minutes for the first RC stand, and since uh, the next stand was done in 15 minutes, now we have finished the procedure and the patient is all very well. You show the hemodynamics of the patient, show the hemodynamics, the pressures are perfectly all right. Thank you. Come back to me. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I always thank my team, uh, myself, Dr. Vivek Gupta, and of course, Mr. Avtar, who is doing at 6 p.m. in the evening on Monday evening, and Madam Bitti, who is the chief nurse. Thank you very much for watching this video, Dr. Vivek Gupta, Hospital, New Delhi.